a beautiful sunny day at Universal Orlando Resort and I'm bringing you all along because we've got some updates and hey, who doesn't want to spend a fun day at Universal? So come on. Let's start our day at my favorite Universal park, Universal Studios. Hello kitty. It's so good to see you out in the park. You're so pretty, I love your dress, thank you. Today is gonna be a really laid back and relaxed day. It's a Sunday, but the crowds are relatively low. January and February tend to be pretty low crowd times of the year here at the Orlando theme parks and attractions in general, historically. And early January tends to be chilly, but it's already starting to get warm out. It feels really nice. I think we need a little bit of food before we start this beautiful day. We're gonna start out at Today Cafe. They have some really cute new options. They are constantly updating their menu and everything I've tried from here has been really delicious. Look at that big apple cheese, apple and cheese, like panini sandwich vegan options they have sweets and savories the salads are the best on property i would say they have so many fresh nice options and i got a bagel with lox cream cheese it looks like an interesting herby type of cream cheese some uh, fresh fruit in a bowl honestly they really do have the healthiest options and Got a view of Hello Kitty out there, still greeting guests. Sometimes there's a big group of guests and sometimes it's just her chilling. Today cafe is always pleasant and they have really nice options, but now I'm fed and it's back out into the park. Oh, not too shabby. Hogwarts Express is always an hour. I think it's because of the distancing, but in general, ride times are looking pretty good, pretty normal. Oh, Fast and Furious 45, I take that back. First update I'm seeing today, check this tent out. Mardi Gras is coming. It starts really, really soon here at Universal Studios and we've got our first signs of it right here. Next big update, Revenge of the Mummy has reopened. It was closed for an extensive refurbishment and it's now reopened, so we're gonna ride it. And I've got my friend Nate here with me to hey, join in the fun. I'm excited. Neither of us has ridden the mummy for a little bit, especially since it's been closed for a little bit, so. And then we're gonna go shopping. And then we're gonna shop. Let's put our stuff Macy's. in a locker. <laughs> She's going with it. Let's go put our belongings in a locker, get ready to ride. All right, so they said number five, you use your annual pass to open the locker. It tells you what locker you're gonna get and it pops right open for you. Okay, see you after the ride. Half the fun of riding the mummy is the queue with its awesome theming. I was able to use Express because it's after four. So it's been like maybe five minutes and we're right about to pop on the ride. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get the ride photo because I have the My Universal Photos photo package so oh scan successful okay now i look for us let's see do we were in the back row that's us right there <laughs> funny yes ad your photo has been added easy peasy Alrighty. i love 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 riding the mummy like honestly it's such a nearly perfect indoor coaster the fire the heat the sounds the dialogue anyway one of the mummies was down it didn't come up so that was cool i like noticing those things no signs of movement here where the mardi gras tribute store is being built inside of these walls but very soon we'll see that facade and i'm really excited to see what they're cooking up this year universal has already announced that there will be a mardi gras tribute store and they've already announced the themes of the three rooms and they sound really really cool here's another tent that looks like it's going to house mardi gras food this year the theme is international flavors of carnival so mardi gras is included with your regular theme park ticket and it's a really fun event of course this year it's going to be run differently than in previous years but there's going to be a heavy focus on international food and all of these tents we see are going to hold different cuisines from different countries i for one am very excited to taste them all all the way out here by the san francisco area the fisherman's wharf and shea alcatraz we've got more mardi gras booths here i don't know that i remember them ever being this far out that's pretty cool, they're spread all around the park. Here at Forever Pearl, they're allowing us to ring the bell. Woo! Woo! 
all sorts of unique pearl gifts. They've got some really beautiful things. Oh, so you can actually get the That's cool. One day I'm gonna do that. That's really fun. And if you want to do the pick your pearl experience, it's only $15.98. Not bad at all. We were walking over towards Diagon Alley in the hopes of taking the Hogwarts Express over to Islands of Adventure. But lately there's been a solid one hour line for the Hogwarts Express pretty much every time I've been out here. So instead, we're gonna make the like five, 10 minute walk over to Islands of Adventure because there's a few more updates and things I wanna check out and show you guys over there. Okay, but before we head over to Islands, quick stop at Finnegan. Cause we just have to. Oh, we got a table right here next to the bar. How fun. Ever since I had that Bloody Mary the other day at the Wave, I developed more of a hankering for one. So I decided to try one here at Finnegan's. I've never tried it here and everybody makes different ones. And what I really like is they give you a cup of olives. Like really, the more olives the better as far as I'm concerned. The wheel spinning. We were just asking about this wheel and they spun it for us. Trip to the bar, it looks like. And as usual here at Finnegan's, we've got wonderful live music to accompany our food and drinks. Well, this time just drinks, but usually food too. They did ask whether I wanted spicy or not spicy. I like a little bit of spice in the Bloody Mary, but not too much, so I said just a little bit. That's good. There's another Mardi Gras tent right there by the stage. And they're gonna set up the whole lawn here in front of the stage with Mardi Gras floats. So instead of a parade, we're gonna get an up close look at the floats, similar to what they did for the holidays this year. I actually think it could be a really cool experience. Mardi Gras starts here at Universal Studios February 6th, so really, really soon, but no hints of Mardi Gras merch just yet but I'm gonna keep my eye out for them and as soon as there's something, I'll show it to you. Heading out through these gates over to Islands of Adventure and I noticed this ad for Endless Summer. So if you wanna see what the newer resort Dockside Inn and Suites is like, I did do a video on that and I think it was pretty thorough for the opening day. So if you wanna check that out, there you go. And look how beautiful City Walk is today. I actually really enjoy the walkover because it's just, it's so pretty. I like City Walk a lot. Both Nate and I came here behind the hard rock to just touch a piece of the Berlin Wall. We've both shown this in videos before, but in case you didn't know, there is a piece of the Berlin Wall back here behind the Hard Rock Cafe. Just a little piece of history back here. I've always loved watching water taxis go along the waterway here, but now that I've actually stayed at Universal Resorts and ridden them, it just takes on a whole new meaning. An awesome mode of transportation. A quick five minute walk and we're right over to Islands of Adventure. You can hear the beautiful entryway music greeting you to adventure. One of the prettiest entranceway arches ever. It's actually not an arch, it's more like a bridge, but it's very pretty. Wait times are looking good. Of course, Hagrid's always has a long line, but the park is looking beautiful. We're getting close to sunset. I wonder if Velocicoaster is testing today. It was testing last time I was here, so if you wanna see it testing, you can definitely check out my last Universal video, but hopefully we're gonna get some more today. I've developed a new found appreciation for Hulk, an amazing coaster, so fun, feels so good, and such a beautiful coaster, really. They've got a wall up here in front of the Spider-Man entrance. I don't remember this being here like a week or two ago when I rode this last. Not sure what's going on, but the entrance is open. An awesome team member just told me that an artist named Adam did all of the artwork of these characters here in the Marvel Land and that he found a way to hide his name in every character. So right there you see Adam, you can see it in the circle right there, upside down. Every character, if you look closely, you can find the signature. So here's the entrance right now for Spider-Man while the front 
has those construction refurbishment walls up. You walk right in through this way, and it's only a 15 minute wait right now. We're passing by the Olive again, and we're gonna walk out on this walkway behind the barge ride, because we're gonna just take a look and see what's going on here at Velocicoaster. Although it, oh, people are actually riding today. You get really soaked on this ride, by the way. Doesn't look like it's testing anymore for today. Some of the raptors that are gonna be part of the ride are now visible. They're still wrapped up, but look. Raptor! There it is. That's kind of my first look at them because they're kind of hidden in there. We may be able to see more from the other side, so we're gonna take a walk through the Jurassic Park area too but pretty cool to see that. There's another one that's visible right there. We're back over by the Jurassic Park area now, just taking a look at this side of the ride. It looks like it's taking shape so nicely. Everybody's really excited for this to open. They're saying summer, but who knows? Could be a little earlier. Oh, look, the moon's out. The more I walk around the perimeter of Velocicoaster and I can see inside of there and I can see so much grass, foliage, leaves, moss. The rocks look so much more like painted and designed. The theming just looks thicker and brighter. And I feel like with time, it's gonna get an even more sort of aged look, which is what I think a little bit of what they're going for. And oh, wow, it just looks so Cool. Everything I've seen points to this ride being amazing. It's 5.30 p.m. and we've been looking for somewhere to eat and a lot of the restaurants, even though Islands of Adventure closes at 7 p.m. today, are already closed. So you'll wanna keep that in mind if you're looking for dinner in the parks, but a lot of the restaurants close before park closing time. So you can check that on the website or the app. So that's what we're doing right now. We've got the app and the website open and we're checking to try to find something open to eat at get a little din din in the park. The Jurassic Park torches are lit. This area is beautiful, but it did not prove fruitful in our search for something to eat. So we're gonna head over into Hogsmeade and it's such a beautiful time of day that I cannot not stop and admire Hogwarts Castle. The whole forested areas that they've built up all around Hogsmeade are so pretty. And look at the sky, it's gorgeous, okay. Let's head into Hogsmeade. I think that since we're over here, we're gonna ride Flight of the Hippogriff. It's been a long time since I've ridden this. It's like a kiddie coaster. It's a lot of fun. Let's do it. Look at this, we got pumpkin haggard right there. So cute. All the pumpkins. And there goes the coaster. This is gonna be a really pretty time to ride. Right in the sunset. back of the hut and the front is in the Hagrid's, like that's the Hagrid's line back there? Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. So this is, or maybe this is the front and that's the back. But either way, really cool that you get to see another side of it. Isn't it beautiful? It's so beautiful. Oh boy, we're going. <laughs> 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 The sky's getting bluer, the moon's getting brighter. That was a lot of fun. It's a short ride, but a fun ride. I like the way they've sort of tied in Flight of the Hippogriff into Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventures. Even though this ride was here first and Hagrid's came later, you can see one side of Hagrid's hut from this ride and the other side from Hagrid's ride. And you get beautiful views of Hogwarts the entire time. It's really short, but it's really fun, and it's a ride that kids can ride. So 
So yeah, I've tried different parts of the park and it does look like VelociCoaster is done testing for the day. It tests most days, throughout most of the day, but it seems to stop at a certain time. You just never know what they're working on, what's going on in there. It's really cool when you see it running, but it's still cool just to see the track and it's just a beautiful part of the landscape and it's nice to see little updates, like just being able to see the raptors a little more clearly now, even though they're still wrapped up. Somewhat later into the evening, Jackie here to report that I actually did get to see VelociCoaster testing later from CityWalk. So I'm adding that footage in here so that you can see how cool it looks at night, even from far away with those blue lights. I think it's getting closer to seven and we're both hungry and there's not a lot open in here. So we might make our way out to City Walk. There's a lot of restaurants out in City Walk, so maybe I can show you a little bit of a little din din somewhere. Skull Island Reign of Kong is one of the coolest looking rides at night. I love all the torches everywhere. We're closing in on 7 p.m. when the park closes, so we're gonna head out into City Walk. Looks like a beautiful evening. And grab some dinner. I'm gonna bring you guys along. There's so many options in City Walk. Always love this site, leaving Islands of Adventure. Of course, there is always good old Confiscos in Islands of Adventure, which I do love but I eat there a lot, so let's try something different today. We really wanna try NBC Grill, but there's a big sport game going on right now, so it looks like it's on the TVs and a lot of people are watching it, but let's try. Let's see if we can get a table. I don't know, we might not be able to. And no dice at NBC Grill. Let's try my favorite restaurant in City Walk, Cowfish. Unlikely, but is it even open? Oh my gosh, well, that is a surprise. My favorite restaurant in City Walk has availability. I don't remember how to do this. I haven't eaten here since before everything closed and reopened, I don't think. It's your first time, it's Nate's first time. I've been wanting to come back and do a whole dedicated video on cowfish and I still will, but I'll give you a little sneak peek tonight. This is new from last time I was here. You scan the menu obviously like everywhere else and they gave us bags to put our masks in, which is so helpful. Oh, there's one bag. You can have it. <laughs> Still helpful. The thing to get here, in my opinion, are the boxes, the bento boxes. They're so, so, so good. But there's quite a lot. There's uh, sushi combos and everything, but the cowfish bento box and the fusion specialty bento box, they're both great, but I pretty much always go for the cowfish. It's just good. It's like a mix of cow and fish. You got burger and sushi. The best of both worlds. Well, what do we have here? We have some Brussels sprouts. They look really nice. The flakes that are on top of here, they're moving. They come, these are the same ones that come on that like octopus dish, right? I don't remember the name. There's a very popular dish that is an octopus dish that I love a lot and I don't know why I can't think of it, but it's got these same flakes on top. I'm gonna look it up and find they're out, moving. but yeah, they move. It's really cool. I want to say takoyaki, but I think that's something different. I'm going to Google it. It is takoyaki. Okay, so there's a dish I love a lot called takoyaki octopus balls. Ball-shaped Japanese snack made of wheat flour, and it's covered with fish that moves like that. It's the heat that does it. I think we're in consensus that these are delicious. I concur. Yes. <laughs> with or without the sauce? Uh, I didn't try the lime sauce. But that's a jalapeno, right? No, I'm saying it's delicious with or without the sauce. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cowfish is multi-level and it's decorated differently all throughout, but you can see all these like fish scales everywhere and they're on the lamp. It's cool how they mix the like fish and cow theming everywhere. There's outdoor areas, indoor areas, there's quite a lot of dining areas. So Nate, what was going on with that whole sports game thing? Because we saw people inside Islands of Adventure like watching the game on their phone. And then we couldn't eat at NBC Grill because everyone was watching. What, what game was it? Tampa was playing for the championship. Did they win? The NFC and the AFC championship. Tampa's going to the Super Bowl. Woo! Tampa's going to the Super Bowl. 
a bay? Yeah. But so then you said something about the bills. Yeah, the bills are playing tonight. Oh, but what was playing so earlier? I would love to see Tampa was playing Tampa earlier. Tampa was playing Tampa won. So I would love to see a Tampa Bay Buffalo Bills Super Bowl. Woo! Okay, so I don't know. So I've, this is how you learn. This is how you learn about Go Tampa. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present my bento box? We've got edamame, we've got a tiny little burger, we've got a cucumber salad, four pieces of Philly roll, sweet potato fries, and ginger, wasabi, and soy sauce. And Nate got a burger with a piece of sushi on top. This and is, the way you looked at that. I was like, what is this? The look on your face was so funny. <laughs> this is a dynamic duo though. It's got short rib, burger, and now I guess sushi. So is it <laughs> so like cool. the dynamic trio tri or the triad? Do I, don't I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I always like to put a little bit of wasabi on every roll. Oh yeah, that's a yummy, yummy, yummy little burger. Look how good you can see how good the meat is. It's so tender, juicy, yummy. It's perfect. Everything was delicious, as always at Cowfish. Again, I'm gonna come back here and do a full dedicated dining video here at Cowfish and tell you all about this place, like a lot more interesting fun facts like you know I love to do. But I'm gonna save that for a dedicated Cowfish dining video. So stay tuned for that like in the next few weeks, maybe like the next month or two-ish. I don't know, I don't want to put a date on it, but it's coming soon. But anyway, we're done with dinner, so let's go downstairs. It's so bright. Oh my gosh, it is. Elevator time? So it's a clear glass elevator and you can see City Walk. Look at it. It's cool. <laughs> Wee! Finishing off the day right where I started here on the water in City Walk. It was another really fun day at Universal Orlando. Got to park hop from Universal Studios over to Islands of Adventure and end the day with dinner at Cowfish. I didn't expect to be having dinner at Cowfish today, but that's the fun of all of this. You just never know where you're gonna end up sometimes. And definitely stay tuned for a dedicated cowfish video because it's so good and there's a lot to say about that place. A lot of cool fun facts that I'm gonna share with you. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today at Universal and getting just a few updates of what's going on. Pretty soon Mardi Gras starts over at Universal Studios. Well, over, over, over there. And of course I'll be covering all of that and bringing you all the updates on the entertainment, the food, the music, everything that's going on so stay tuned for all of that too and there's just always a ton of fun coming up so if you're new please subscribe and for all of you who are with me thank you so much for being part of the community for all of your love and i'm sending you all a ton of love i'll see you all for the next video and until then as always stay enthused bye